Happy Halloween, everybody. It's uh, your daily uh, uh, presidential address, and I'm going to take apart the Denver Broncos-Baltimore Ravens game. Before we get into that, it is Thursday, and I have a very rare three-pack of NHL bets up for you guys tonight. Most of the time, I only play one NHL uh, play per day, so when I have three, uh, I really do like the card. I also have an NBA play. You can get that all over at wt.buzz forward slash LP. Okay, let's get into this Denver-Baltimore game and a really great matchup at that. Let let the tough part of this Denver schedule begin. And boy, what a start. Playing an angry Ravens team coming off of a division loss and playing their worst game of the season. I wouldn't want to be Denver here. But in the same regard, really tough to lay minus nine with the Baltimore Ravens. Dave Sherpan actually came on Wager Talk today on the Thursday edition show and gave out a phenomenal statistic about Lamar Jackson, uh, minus seven and a half and up. And I don't exactly remember the numbers, but let's uh, go with this. Don't bet Baltimore at minus seven and a half or better. It's a terrible record. Uh, I'll get Dave to tweet that out as, oh, 2-11-1. and 2-11-1, and one, Baltimore Ravens, minus 7.5 or better. So we can't bet Denver, and we can't bet Baltimore. What are we going to do in this game? Well, we're going to look at the Ravens' strength and weakness. We know the Ravens can score, and we know they have a horrible pass defense. We're going to take the over in this game. The number here, 44.5. And the Ravens have put up 41 points themselves twice in their last four games. They literally average 30 points per game. And I get that they're playing this so-called great defensive unit in Denver. But no one has come close to stopping this Ravens team. They put up 24, 41, 30, 41, 35, and 28. And we are to assume out of the blue all of a sudden they can't get to 24. That is just not true. They're going to get to 24, and they're likely going to get to 30. Now, I get that Denver has this great defense. Really? Do they? They played Carolina, New Orleans, the LA Chargers, the Las Vegas Raiders, and the New York Crappers in their last five games. Anybody could have a great defense playing those five teams. Maybe. Maybe Denver has the best defense in the history of the world. Maybe they don't. We don't know. They have literally played nobody. As for the Broncos' offense, they just put up 28 points and 33 points in their last two games. They put up 16 points against the Chargers, which would be equivalent to, say, 30 points against the Ravens. They put up 34 on the Raiders. I get that these three teams uh, suck, but hey, the Broncos are still scoring. The Ravens have kept only one single team under the total of 23 points all year, and that was the Buffalo Bills. And the game just got away from Buffalo. Denver's going to get some points here. This game is 31-24, 31-17 written all over it. We're going to take the over. And really quick, The winning catch by Cleveland against Baltimore was the 21st play that Baltimore has allowed over 25 yards this year. That's the worst in the NFL by far. Take a look at some long touchdown passes by Bo Nix as a prop bet. Take a look at some big-time receiving yards by their receivers as well. And also, Nix is relying heavily on tight ends Take a look at Troutman over in both receptions and yardage. That's it for the Daily Presidential Address. Thank you all for watching and take care of yourself. Have a happy Halloween.